Okay, now this should be uh, being recorded. All right, problem number one is about understanding what is called a stress law, and that is the variation of stress with depth in a particular site, and in this case, in a wellbore. Here, what you see in this image is an actual stress log uh, from a shale formation in South America, which is called the, the Vaca Muerta Formation. And this is a nice example because it has a particularity that one of the horizontal stresses, and sometimes the both of them are higher than the vertical stress. So what you see in this plot is in the y-axis depth, the first track is mechanical stratigraphy. The second track is content of calcite that tells you where there are more carbonate rich rocks. And the third track is a combined track with pore pressure here in brown, minimum horizontal stress in green, vertical stress in red, and maximum horizontal stress in blue. So you have uh, four continuous uh, data uh, records, and also you have measurements of minimum horizontal stress done in the field in this, uh, with these symbols, these red diamonds, these are field measurements that are used to calibrate this model. Let me remind you that this is just a model. It's not the, the ground truth, but it's somehow calibrated with some of these field measurements. And the last track is where perforations were decided to be done to do hydraulic fracturing in this vertical well. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do with this is uh, we're going to assume that this is a, it's a per perfectly vertical well. This is an assumption that we're going to relax later on. And uh, as you can see here, we have no numbers of depth because uh, they, in the original uh, paper, which you can access through this link, they also didn't provide what is the actual depth. What we do know is that between each y-axis grid line, this is 25 meters. And if you digitize this plot, because here we have the values, the minimum here on the far left is 6,000 PSI, and the maximum on the far right is 12,000 PSI. We can digitize this plot, and we can obtain what is the variation of these quantities with depth, and also what is the absolute value. And later, what we're going to do is assuming that we have, or we're, you're actually going to calculate the gradient, the actual gradient of vertical stress, because you know distance, uh, at least the change, and you know the absolute value of the stress. So you're gonna be able to calculate the variation of vertical stress with depth. And based on that, what we're going to do is to estimate more or less what is the depth at this particular location. Just to give you a rough idea, if we have a vertical stress of, uh, let's say more or less here, uh, 9,000 PSI, then that should be more or less 9,000 feet, according to this simple uh, estimate of vertical stress. Okay, so there are a few things uh, to, to solve over here. And uh, as said here, in the in the problem i recommend that you digitize uh, this plot so you're not eyeballing what is the the value that uh, you should get and uh, you can do that with this online application or the also in python in matlab there are similar things that you can do but this one is very handy and uh, we're going to start calculating uh, all these values uh, today we're not going to be able to solve uh, problems um, five to nine, uh, but uh, we can do uh, one to four, all right? So we'll get started with that. I'm going to stop recording.